my beautiful people. Welcome back to a beautiful day in the garden. Uh, the last pour that we did was Mermaid's Clutching Amsterdam Pearls and it turned out absolutely beautiful and I was testing out those lovely Amsterdam Pearl paints in the Pearl Blue and the Pearl Violet. Um, with that one I used a two chamber split cup which I think gave me a little bit more blending. It turned out beautiful but I couldn't really see the Pearl Blue and the Pearl Violet distinctly. So I today want to try one with just the pearl blue and see how that goes. So to that end, we have a 20 by 20 inch gallery wrap canvas. I have taped the back and put my push pins in and I have painted my sides and edges with my Prussian blue. Let me show you my colors. Very pretty colors tonight. This one is Golden's Prussian blue. Beautiful, beautiful color. Everything is mixed with mix pour tonight. You can get your own mix by emailing Krista at Krista8974 at gmail.com and I hope you will take a moment to wish Krista a very happy birthday. August 9th is her birthday. So, mix pour. Uh, this is the Prussian Blue from Golden. And then I have this beautiful color, which is Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. And then I have one that I have mixed up myself this is Golden's Prussian Blue with a little bit of DecoArt Americana Decor Emerald Green in it. Sort of like a bluish, greenish, sparkly, mysterious -y sort of color. The last time we did that mysterious recipe from Gina DeLuca, it was with the DecoArt Sapphire and the Emerald Green. This is just the Prussian Blue and the Emerald Green. And then I have the star of our show, Amsterdam Pearl Blue. And I'll show you the consistency on this one. on a mound and then sinks into itself pretty quickly. I want to make sure everything is really well stirred and mixed up. There's like all these color shifty things happening with the lights. I'm like, wait, did I mix it? <laughs> and then of course we have one of my favorites, Decor Americana Decor Metallics and 24 karat gold. So we're going to use this five chamber cup from the paintpoorstore.com. Um, wash your cup right away, otherwise it starts to look like because I forget sometimes and uh, then I'm like oh no when I run out and I wash it but then I mean it's okay it still works but if you want it to stay looking nice and pretty then keep it washing it after every use right away okay so game plan here is to use the Prussian the metallic cobalt and that mysterious color in the three outer chambers and then in the two chambers in the center I want to use the pearl blue now the question HOA is, do I want to put any other gold in the cup, or do I just want to pour into a puddle of gold? I've had some very good luck pouring into the puddle of gold, but okay. I always like a little gold on the painting. Well, maybe we'll just put like a little bit of gold in one of the chambers too. So, all right, we're going to start with this Prussian blue on the side. This is a 16 ounce cup. That's a 20 by 20 canvas. For a 20 by 20 canvas, we need 16 ounces of paint, so that works out perfectly. Okay, now we're going to put the pearl blue in here. Maybe we'll put a little bit of gold on top of just a layer of gold in there. And then some more pearl blue on top of that. And I'm going to go ahead and skip one chamber and then I'm going to put the rest of the pearl blue in the other chamber on this side so that we have two chambers with the pearl blue and a solid color on either side of that. So tricky. Uh, I guess we could put a little bit of gold on the top of this one too. Okay. Well, not tricky, but I'm trying to use the paint in the way that it's going to respond the best. All right, we're going to use our metallic cobalt in the center chamber. Okay. And then we're going to use that mysterious color in the last chamber. It's so pretty. It's so luscious. Okay. And then we will pour into a puddle of gold also. So I have here 
a tub of my drips that I have scraped off my table. And I am going to put this down as a base coat. It's actually a very, very pretty color. I have a blue violet -y. I'm going to put some gloves on. <laughs> it's so hot today. <laughs> okay. So a couple of questions while I'm putting on the glove. You, you guys ask me where I get my gloves. I get them from Amazon. These are Glove Works. And they have a texture on them. And they're pretty cool. And then you guys also ask me about the table covering. The table covering is, what's it called? Vinyl sheeting? This is queen. Well, no, it's not actually called Viz Queen when you buy it, but <clears throat> but it's called vinyl sheeting. I will link the one that I've been getting for you in the description box. But it just comes on a roll, and then you cut it off and use it, and then I flip it over when it's dry, and I use the other side. So, okay, so we're gonna put this down as our base coat first. That pretty yummy blue violet that is thinner than our other paint, but not super super thin. For now, repainting in a row. So it's got pretty good use out of me. Are you excited about this one, HOA? Oh, yeah. Beautiful colors. Yeah, right, it's going to be very pretty, I think. Okay. All right. Puddle of gold or no puddle of gold? Love those gold cells. Oh, poor small puddle of gold. Yes, my love. Semper Paranus. Gale is a factor. Gale is blowing the pink around. Not cool, Gale. Could you not? <laughs> you can see. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Let's try that again. You ready again? Yeah? Yep.
interesting. I still like that shape that we got in the middle there. So it's okay. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. I love this. I love this here with a lot of that pearl blue in there. So that's what I want to keep. This part with a lot more gold around the perimeter, I'm willing to lose. So, let's see. Let's go off that edge first and get rid of the tail. And then I'll walk this down side to side gently. I'm distributing the weight of the paint. chambers full of the pearl blue we would see more of it in here. Interesting. Is it blending perhaps? Well we put gold in both of those chambers, remember? This is pretty. Okay, this is going to be cool. Watch that top part open up. But this is cool. I'm happy with this, actually. I like what's happening in here. I really like the metallic cobalt with that pearl blue next to it against the Prussian. That right there is awesome. This is awesome. Okay. I'm happy. That's cool. Um, I just want to see if I can get a little bit of that old corner off. Plenty of paint, so we should be able to nice and easy. Back towards me. Down a little bit. Open this up. I think that's it. What do you think, HOA? You see a lot of lightning bolts. <laughs> lightning bolt versions of hot dogs. <laughs> Okay, I'm happy. I like this. Um, I do wish there was a little bit more of the pearl visible, but I think there is a lot in here and under that gold and these little wispy bits that I want are there. So we'll see how this one dries. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I really appreciate all of you. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. We'll see you real soon. It's not completely dry, but it's getting there. But this one turned out really, really pretty. Um, I love that metallic cobalt blue. I love the Prussian. I 
really like that mysterious color that we made. So the pearl blue is showing up more of as an accent in those wispy thin lines. Hello, Gail. <laughs> Very pretty, beautiful piece. So those mysterious blue pearls. <laughs> um, I think the violet pearl shows up a lot more in terms of being violet than the blue does. But this is very, very pretty. And some beautiful details in here. Loving those lines. So, very cool. Cool stuff. Thanks for being here with us today, you guys. I really appreciate all of you so much. And uh, we'll see you for the next one. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.